Thousands converged on Hyde Park for the biggest gay event of the year. And as usual, there was the loud, the proud, and the downright outrageous. At the front, 200 athletes competing in August's Gay Games paraded a rainbow flag measuring a quarter of a mile long. In all, the crowds numbered up to 40,000, considerably less than last year. The festival, which normally follows the march but which was postponed this year, may have kept many away. The numbers are much better than we thought they might be today. Um, the festival will have to be sorted out pretty quickly because next year we're expecting a million people in London for Euro Pride. London is hosting uh, a big Pride event for the whole of Europe and uh, we're expecting at least a million people uh, to come here for a big, big festival, probably over two or three days. So next year we've got to get it right, otherwise we have a million people with nowhere to go. While this was a show of solidarity, everyone had their own reason for being here. Basically, because I've never been before and it's just such a big thing because you can just go out and be you and you can even tell the coppers to get their kit off. But basically we're here today to show that we're going we're proud. That is what it's all about. We come here to show support and to show that people do care, do you know what I mean? And we're here to stand up for our, everyone's rights, not just gay people, but everybody, and show that we're here, we're having a good time and we're being noticed. There was celebration of this year's march after the government's recent decision to lower the age of consent to 16. But campaigners are now calling for an end to a law that prevents councils from promoting homosexuality. Ian Ward, Channel 1, Whitehall.